Timor woman, always people picturing as someone that weak. But when I run and I post the photo with that joy in my face, but also physically I'm capable, a lot of my colleagues say that they're inspired by that and they wanted to do the same thing. My name is Sidalia. I am an activist of human rights and I am a social worker in Timor-Leste. So when I work at one of the community clinic, where women came to the clinic because they seek for help, say that they have sick at the back or they have sick in their head or they have sick in their tummy, mostly because of the physical aggression from the partner, what I did provide is someone who's there to listen to them with no judgment. And if a house is not a safe place, they can go to a different place for safety. And I am there fully committed to support that individual. The situation of violence against women in Timor is really serious. Um, so when the Equality Institute did a study, what we found was that 59% of women had experienced intimate partner violence uh, during their lifetime. To put that into context, uh, globally, the average is around 30%. I think the impact of the pandemic on the women is quite enormous because they have to stay at home. So the case of domestic violence, the case of uh, abuse in a house is increased. Their session is going to be about engaging men in gender equality. This is a trend that we've seen around the world. Due to COVID lockdown restrictions, women are stuck at home with their perpetrators. Uh, and this makes it a much more dangerous situation for women. <laughs> My knowledge is not only for women and children, which is important too, but also for LGBTI community that is being excluded in so many levels. The understanding of gender here in this country is that people should be in one box, the box of women and the box of men, and that's all, there's no other boxes. So when people come with that certain norms and also the gender role, it makes it so difficult for LGBTI community. The work that we are doing is very hard because now we cannot just go to any places we want because of the restriction, but also the risk of the, the COVID. There is a lot of uh, activity that we adapt due to the COVID, but certainly it's very challenging. There is always some time in my day where I think I'm emotionally and physically drained and I also need someone that I can rely on in order to share what I am facing in a day. So many of uh, our colleagues and ourselves included working on these issues were getting burnt out, exhausted, overworked, lacking resources. We need to ensure that there are future feminist leaders to continue this work um, and so that was the original idea, and we actually managed to secure Australian government funding to pilot this idea in Timor. We've got a group of 16 feminist activists, women and trans activists here. The name of the group is Bing Aling Hakbit Malo, the sisterhood empowering each other. And this group is full of an, a woman who work in the organization who are already exposed to dealing with domestic violence, dealing with women, children, people with disability, LGBT community. We talk about how to look after each other. Because as a Bengaling, as a sisterhood, sometimes we are so focused in that fight for justice, but we forgot we're just an ordinary woman. So there, we look after each other in that mat and talk about our self-care and how do we process our trauma and how do we inspire each other. The international evidence that we have shows us that the key factor in helping to end violence against women is strong local feminist activism. 
And so that is one of the main reasons why for me personally and for the Equality Institute, it is so important for us to support feminist leaders in Timor-Leste. In that space, you see many women who are actually want some change in this country are now talking about this. And we rally on the street. <laughs> if we had a chance to do a march, we march. And if there is a 16 days campaign, that there is a 16 days that we advocate for human rights or we advocate for women and children, we'll do anything, a workshop or a discussion. As my mother always say, that every change, that it is star from you, is already a change, so I'm taking that as a victory from one person and I'm going to inspire others and the other people will inspire others to do the same thing.